<laughs> that is so sexy. See, hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? We're going to be doing one of my absolute favourites. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to be making a pilaf. Um, oh, that's nice, isn't it? So pilaf is basically like a, a, a baked rice dish. Let's say. Let's go three components, just because I drew nice circles. This one is going to be Flavor Town. Okay. For me, Flavor Town is all about adding spice and building a base. So your base is gonna be something like onions and garlic, and then you're gonna add your spices. This bit here is gonna be the rice. Now you can add whatever rice you want. Maybe you wanna use a bulgur or something like that. Something that can absorb lube and bake in the oven. Wonderful. Over here is like your sexy additions. Let's, let's write that, I like that. Sexy, oh, additions. Sexy additions could be anything from I'm gonna use some chicken thigh, because I think it's sexy. You could also add some dried fruit, because that's delicious. You could add some lamb, absolutely anything you want. So we're gonna get a little bit fruity later on, because we're gonna use some of these, which we're gonna talk about using things that aren't necessarily used, because people think they're weird, but they're not actually that weird, so we can carry on using them. Let's go. First things first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the old base, base, base. Oh, I bought these onions, I did a video earlier, the central core, look at that, the cutting skills of an app, that's not even a two-year-old. Dice this up, nice and rough, put this into a pan, and we're gonna slowly start building flavors as our life comes together. Stick a bit of lube in there, and just gently sweat that off. So I've got these beautiful chicken thighs here. I got them from a local butcher. Let's take them out of here. Pretend they came from a butcher. Um, they're absolutely wonderful. What we're gonna do is we're gonna mimic uh, the spice that's going to go into the pilaf and the spice that's going to go onto the chicken. So, coriander seeds, don't be shy, you know the saying, mum and dad weren't. <laughs> then cumin seeds, two classics in sort of like Middle Eastern cuisineage. Put this on and just gently toast. While that's happening, need another pan. Right, so in here I've just got a little bit of agua, that's water to us English. I'm just going to take a well-known unknown stock cube, this is just a chickeny one. Again, if you wanted to go vegetarian, you could go veggie, but I'm putting chicken in mine. So add chicken, missed. This stuff, I mean, I literally will give these guys a shout out. Bob Binko! In here is like liquid gold, right? Everyone chucks this delicious, sort of gloopy lube away. Taste it and tell me it tastes weird. You, I, I, I don't agree. Just sieve it with your fingers, like that, and think of that as your seasoning, right? That liquid is so salty, delicious, full of flavor. It is a travesty to waste the stuff. Absolute traversity. Put this on the stove and gently simmer. So when simmering onions, simmering? You don't even simmer, you saute. A little bit of salt will help draw the moisture out and help them caramelize down nice and lovely. Things are cooking, so many things are going. Now, if you don't want to wash your hands, get yourself some trendy tattoo gloves. Oh, everyone always asks about my tattoos. Yeah, my beautiful friend Alice did them for me. She's a very lovely human being. You can find her at Parliament Tattoo. Rowan Alice is her tag. Okay, so into here goes your chicken thighs. Clean hands, good lug of lube, a little bit of cinnamon, good pinch of salt. That's too much. But I've got some of this lovely stuff, a poop of beer, just a little bit. And then the tiniest little bit of turmeric. <laughs> to do the old little Colombian pinch. Check on your spices at the back. Perfect. Right, look at those. They should be smoking a little bit and just getting toasted. Get this little sister sledge in here. Get a couple of black peppercorns in there and give this a good seeing to. Oh, I should have used the bigger one. Should have used, used the bigger one. Oh, fucking hell. Rule number one never fill up your pestle and mortar. Too high. Doesn't matter if it's a bit coarse. Just a little bit on the old chicken. Oh God, made a right mess. Look at this. Onions are just starting to soften down. Oh, you see that, camera number two. Good pinch of this stuff. Flavour town, remember, it's gonna be taken out by the rice. The rice is gonna neutralize. Neutralize. Low heat, without breath. What I got here is some basmati rice. Ooh. I like basmati rice because it kind of stays together. It goes fluffy and she's good. So I normally measure it just by guessing. Always do too much. I've washed my rice just until the water runs clear. Very simple, trousers are falling down. Oh yeah. Very, very simple stuff. Just wash all the starch off and now help it stay nice and fluffy and the pieces not stick together. These, I'm just giving this a wash. So relax, all right? 
Don't come with me, old chicken juice in here. What we're we gonna do, this is a part that was like, you know, what I called the sexy extras. Oh, additions. Teeny little pinch of salt, that's it. Into the oven, nice hot oven, 180, until they go nice and toasted. These can also be done in an air fryer. Our onions are looking great. I'm not bothered about them softening right down. I just want them to have a little bit of crunch to them still because that's gonna be a, the, the sort of the body of the old dishy wishy. In you go. Lovely. Mix that round, not really bothered about anything else really happening here. Get a dish, everything goes in. Then you've got your chickeny beanie lube. Chuck that in. It can be quite wet, it doesn't matter. Like that, nice. Give your chicken a quick massage. Now if you're doing this properly, you can do this tonight before, you know, you know the drill. Marinate it up, go well done, congratulations everyone, look at me, I am very good at this. Pop the old girls in. There we go. Just gonna give the old hands wash. Get yourself a piece of parchment. Because basically what you want to happen is you want the steam to stay in. You don't want the steam to escape. If the steam escapes, then we're gonna have a very dry rice. And fold. Perfect, that'll do. Pop that on there. Give it a crimp. Easy, right? Anyone can do this. Now, make some space, Don's the oven. This goes in there. Oh, that's hot. 180, I'm gonna say, as everything goes in 180. I'm gonna say 45 minutes to an hour, but we'll have a look after about 45 minutes to an hour. <laughs> okay, okay. I've been doing things and I ain't been focusing. Ooh. Oh no. Ouch, 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 ouch. Ah, oh, ah, need a thing to mix it with. Look at them, beautiful. So they kind of got a little bit stuck, which is okay. Now these have had nothing done to them, just a little bit of salt. Do you want to like throw something fresh and funky in there? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let these cool down and then think about it, because I don't know what I'm doing. But let's have a little look at the other thing. I mean, oh my lord alive. Can you see that camera? Can you see that? Yeah. Little camera too. Nice that, isn't it? That is so sexy. So, I've got some of my mate's uh, sriracha hot honey here. This was not intended. I'm just gonna do it, because I'm feeling fruity as fire. Slap a load of that over the top, and then pop this back in the oven, so that that skin starts to crisp, and all of these edges start to crisp as well. Because what you have is a little bit of a burnt bit on the bottom, crispy stuff on top, you take that out, fluffy, fluffy, oh my lord. We're so close, 10 minutes. See you in 10. While um, the old Frederico is having fun in the oven, I have this idea. You have something that's quite aromatic and sweet, spicy, quite full of flavor. But then whenever you have, say like a kebab, or you have um, uh, something like a kebab, it normally has like something that will cut through, something that's got a bit of crunch, something that's maybe got a little bit of freshness to it that will kind of like elevate things, right? Think of like raw onion. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right, this is the bit where it gets a little bit tricky because I only want the tiniest amount. So let's just split him in half. So what I'm thinking for the top of the, the dish is I've got these butter beans and then I'm gonna have my, some onion. How do I wanna do it? This is all new to me. I'm just getting excited and being playful. It's like, um, have you ever had a cucumber salad? This is me just taking influence from everywhere. So I'm just gonna run down, stick it in a little bit of um, water. So this is sort of going places now. Now I've got a little bit of lemon. <sighs> this is all about adding a little bit of freshness to a dish that would necessarily just be a little bit like, I've got some coriander and I've got some parsley. So this is the thing with cooking that I love talking about. Cucumber salad in my head is like an Indian thing. It has a bit of tomato, a bit of cucumber, a bit of red onion. But then if you start thinking about that and going like, oh, maybe I could incorporate the idea of that into a dish that I'm making. Why not? Why not? So tomato, simply for things like this, I like to take the seeds out. So just go like that and just eat that bit. So that goes into our little tray of joy. Got a little sieve. See that camera number two? Jeff, pick that up. That is like really punchy onion lube removed from onion and you'll get a nice little fresh little kicker. A bit of olive oil and just a teeny little splash of vinegar. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, if you want to get this, head over to my oh, God, not much of a salesman. Let me just get that dude from Wolf of Wall Street. Yo, sell me a pen. I'll sell you a bottle of vinegar. Mate, look at that. What an absolute cracker. 
It is amazing. Never done that before in my life. It's what cooking should be like. I need camera 10 to pick this up. Or should we zoom in? Doing a zoom in for you. Oh. Oh, she looks, she looks nice. The best thing about this is like everything's just cooked in one thing. And if you really hate the old boner in the chicken, it's very simple. All you do, fuck. <laughs> oh, that's best those fingers. Just grab the bone, get your fork next to it, and it will just pull off. Could have done that a bit more gracefully. Who gives a fuck? I don't care about bones. Then this rice under here, oh. What's happened? You know, it's taken all of the juice that you've cooked. It's me so steamy. Good, that'll do. You've got lovely fluffy rice because the chicken has just been like, just oozing, oozing flavour. And then you've got this little funky salad on the side. Get some of that on top. That is one hell of a dish, eh? Francis, can you put some sexy music over this while I just do some B-roll? Oh, yeah. Sexy. Oh, additions. Delicious chicken. Mmm. Oh. You've got this, like, oh, it's so hard to explain. And in the nicest way possible, this beautiful, greasy, silky, fluffy rice. Oh, it's so good. It's made my eyes water so, it's so hot. And then this mad little side salad. If I could rate this out of 10, it would be 12 out of 10, even 13. That little beanie salad, magic. That's glorious. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow. This is great. Mm. Right, peace out, love you.